village, a dark world with street soldiers, thugs and gangbangers, just like we showed you that last part of your life, but now it's changed to the new era, sick, even more colder than whatever, yo, it's time I moved on, I put my title up, everybody got defeated, it's time you hung it up, optional, the level you on, you better settle, this would have been the closest you got to the metal, if you plan to start the track, you know, all right, the way up, it's all about the victory and who's getting ate up, survivors are always labeled the fittest, that's why you couldn't win this, I'm the living legend, veteran in this, my first priority got dealt with successfully, nothing more to prove in my corner, no more testing me, I finished all my missions, you tell me who the best could be, Capcom and Lockdown, Infinity is your fighter, so I moved on, now my life is much better, on to bigger things, but we hustle forever, we cut your life short, plus you thought you was clever, it's all about the family, we stay silent forever, yo I moved on, now my life is much better, now we on some bigger things, but we hustle forever, we cut your life short, plus you thought you was clever, it's all about the family, we stay silent forever. Storm, wiping it calm, strong force like population across town or island. I survived as a street soldier and stayed silent forever. Because of that, now my life is much better. This is making history, the age will tell you much better. Who's best in the challenge to really blow up your spot? Mix a little cap on it to yo, what you got? An unbelievable force, too much power to try to get into. Catch us on the net with secrets, a little more to do. You try to pick the evilness to try to bring me down. But I got Almighty One on my side, holding it down. It's time I moved on, nigga. Things, bigger contenders Get this paper from winning matches and money spenders Motion picture types, so what's it gon' be? Get tuned in the new world of Street Fighter 3 So I moved on, now my life is much better On to bigger things, but we hustle for Hello. <coughs> wow, sorry. Oof, bad for expression, huh? Hold up. Well, she thought it was clever. It's all about the family. We stay silent forever. Yo, I moved on. Now my life is much better. Now we join some bigger things. But we hustle forever. You guys voted for this, technically. Well, she thought it was clever. It's all about the um, family. You all voted for this with the... on the Discord. You're yeah, more, thank you. Street Fighter 6 makes a person act uncouth. I like Street Fighter 6, Chun Li. Um, I like that it's a little closer to Street Fighter Alpha, Chun Li. Oh shit, you can't hear that. Listen to that sizzle. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Anyway, welcome to stream. Um, mm. 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 Yeah, it's really good. Um, what are we going to? I don't actually know what these cuts of meat are, to be honest. I'm not very good at identifying um cuts of meat. If you value that meat. Uh, but we're grilling some food. I'll, I'll feed you some. No shrimp? I know, right? That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like, where's my... Where's the... Where's the, uh, variety, man? Perfect. Is that too loud? 
I feel like that's a little too loud. Where's my fucking music at? Is the music okay for you guys? Isn't it stupid that I decide to play Street Fighter music instead of the normal Valhalla stuff when I'm wearing this outfit? Oh, I've got to actually eat something in your life. Crunch, 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 crunch. Hey, Crow, I was able to stream. Uh, my internet cleared up, I think. Um, we'll see. It looks green on the board. <clears throat> we'll change music later. It's okay. We'll change music later. I just wanted to chat. I just wanted to, like... Well, like, I had I had Valhalla on the schedule for today, and I was going to do it. And I really just didn't feel like doing all that setup and, like, doing all the doing all that stuff. And then I was like, but I kind of want to, like, I'm bored and I'm lonely and I want to stream. Why am I so mad? Can you chill? Can I put this lemon on there? Ooh, infinite meat. Just got back from picking up dinner. That's good. You'll probably be good because I wouldn't want to watch the stream if I was hungry. Which is why I'm eating this meat. Chat isn't liking apostrophes. That's interesting. Um, they are super fun. I bought this game literally just because I had so much fun at the re at a real one. I've been to Korean barbecue, but yeah, yeah, not yet. I've I've been to the opposite. I've never been to a Korean place, but I've been to a Japanese place twice. I've seen a few other VTubers stream this game. Yeah, that's how I found it. Actually, I, I saw um on my someone else stream it um and i was like this is like a fun just chatting i was gonna do a setup where i was gonna kind of be like in the game or something but i couldn't i just couldn't get it to work in a way that i liked and it, it was making me it was making me kind of mad so i just gave up saw another stream early in chat it's literally doing the same thing uh maybe it's just a weird thing on a uh, twitch's end then mm. Uh, yeah, um, Marisa, I, I, um, I've, I've literally, like, I literally spent, like, half an hour, like, on stream, like, a couple months ago talking about these kinds of places, but, like, if you ever have the opportunity to go, you should definitely go to one. They are really pricey. Like, I, I I'm, I guess I'm assuming you live in America. I, I have no reason to assume that, actually. Um, but I know that in America, they're kind of, like, pricey because they're sort of, like, an event like a luxury for us kind of thing where it's just sort of normal over there but um what i would do like what i do when i have the opportunity to go is to go with friends and just basically split the bill or like i don't know i i feel like i'm more comfortable spending a lot of money on food if everybody else there is also kind of indulging like make it a party or something you know what i mean mm. Plus, you, you can do... Why am I so mad? I need to just fix that. Like, chill. 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 Um... It's like... Because, like... It can actually be cheaper per person if you go as a group, because you can get, like platters of meat for everybody to share you, they did a lot of places do have like group options not like necessarily group discounts but like you can get like 
just like a uh, like a like a bundle of meat for like a like it's meant for a group, and you can get that like at a discount or some shit. Oh. Sorry, hold on. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, I one for my birthday because I made it sound so good. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad I sold it on you. I'm glad I sold you on it. It's really fun. Actually cooking the meat, like, is genuinely a fun experience. If you've got friends or maybe family, um, like, make it a, make it like a thing, you know? It's definitely a once in a while kind of thing. Um, at least for like me. I don't actually know. I haven't gone to one since I moved. I don't know where there are any around here. Um, but I think it's definitely a worthwhile, like really fun experience um, to, to like grill the meat and uh, just be there for like an hour or so, hour or two. It's really fun. I'm told it's also really nice if you drink. Um, I don't. But if you drink, I, I hear it's a good time uh, to drink. Or for $2, you could buy this game and eat beef jerky in front of your computer and pretend, I guess. I don't know. Can I just eat this shit raw? Okay, it doesn't like that. <laughs> the um the place that I went to, it's a chain. It's called um um fuck. Uh, it's called Gyukaku, I think, yeah, Gyukaku, that's it, that's right. You remembered for me, that's right. It's a chain, um, I don't know if there's any near you, um, that's the one that I've been to twice, and I had a, an excellent time both times, um. You know, I thought it would be pretty fun, a game like Valhalla, but you work at one of these restaurants and set up a bar, that'd be fun. If, if it was like, like a... A chef sim or something, or like it wouldn't really be a sim. Like you're saying like it would be like a visual novel, like Ahala, but instead of a bartender, you'd be like you, you're thinking of like those those. Uh, are you thinking of like those kind of Asian restaurants where they like the the, the chef like cooks in front of you kind of places? Like uh, like that's what I'm imagining. I don't forget what those are called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Her... Yeah, hibachi, hibachi, hibachi. Yeah, 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 hibachi places. That, that, that's it. Uh, my, 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 my thought on this also is that if you're gonna go to one of these places, is um, don't be like really commit to it you know like i mean definitely be mindful of your budget don't let me tell you how to spend money um what do i know but like when i went with with a, a friend of mine and we were sort of like cyberpunk yakimiku just sounds like it makes for a cool game oh it definitely does i definitely agree when my friend and i went to one of these we were sort of like pitter pattering around the more expensive meats options you know it's like it's it's expensive. It's like it's really expensive. We're not really made of money, um, you know. Like, kind of sit, but like I'm saying, like one of these kind of places is not something you go to very often. And I feel like you really deserve to to buy that top shelf meat and to really experience like at least just once, you know, just once. Like just go in there and just splurge. 
just buy the fucking like Wagyu top shelf shit and grill that shit up and fucking love it. And don't be afraid of the bill. I mean, again, obviously it's been within your means. Like, you know, save up maybe. Like, don't... If you're gonna go to somewhere like this where like the pleasure of it is like eating really, really yummy food, don't, don't go all the way there to an expensive restaurant and then like, and then like back down at the very last second and just get like the cheapo stuff and try to save as much money as possible. Like I definitely get, get like why you would want to do that. Like, cause, cause I had to fight that urge too. But, like, if you're gonna do it, do it. Like, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna go there for the experience, go, go fucking go there for the fucking experience. Like, get the good shit. Get the, get the like five star recommended chef special shit. Get some nice Asahi beer. If you like Japanese beer, the place that uh, the place that I'm talking about, uh, Gyukaku, they import uh, Japanese domestics. Uh, like, get yourself the like nice fudge, or like the desserts that you can put on the thing too. They have this, um, they have these like buttered garlic mushrooms that you can get. Those are really good. Like, get, like treat yourself. Like seriously. Like yeah. Like sincerely treat yourself. Like. Go in there and just, like, stuff your fucking face full of meat. Hold on. That's not what I meant. But you know what I mean? Like, that's my advice for these kind of things. Nobody asked. <laughs> Get the bean ice cream. Oh, I wish I could've. They didn't have it last time. How much meat can I put in here at once? Like... Haha. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Oh shit. I'm just throwing it. Anyway. We're here to chat. We're here to chat. We're we're uh, we're here to chat. We're on a date. No, we're not on a date because you guys didn't want that. After five. Yeah, something like that. That's the kind of vibe I want. It, all at all times. Yeah, it's semi casual. They need to add like beer to this. It's semi casual. I've got a I got my drink here. I want my entire life to be the sort of vibes that you get from an episode of After Five. I used to be really obsessed with that show, just like in terms of like the vibes of it. I don't know. I was in a weird place um, at that point in my life, I think. I used to be, I was just like really super weirdly into the idea of like Going, going, like drinking after five. After five, okay. A after five, the uh, is a Toku, Tokusatsu um, parody uh, show about uh, like if the if the if the heroes after they were done saving the world went out for drinks, like like how the 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 joke of it is that like, I mean this is also true in America of course too, but like in Japanese culture. I don't know how to say this without sounding like an idiot. You know, a, a lot of Japanese office workers like to go to, um, like, not exactly bars, but like restaurants that serve alcohol after they work. Like, after they get off work, they go out drinking with their coworkers. That's the, like, that's the vibe. Yes, yes, that's exactly, that's exactly the show. That's exactly it. That's like the vibe that After Five has, where it's like, what if. What if superheroes treated their job like how salarymen treat their job, with like sort of irreverence and disdain, 
for the actual work that they do. And also they get shit faced um, every day after they finish uh, like beating the monster in their giant robot. It's very funny. Like pubs. Yeah, kind of like pubs, yeah. It's a place where you order food and drinks, so I guess that would be a pub, right? We should stream after five sometime on the Discord. That'd be fun. Um... Funny show. I think it's a good show even if you don't know anything about Sentai. I think anybody can know enough about those kind of things to like get a general idea. Like you don't have, it's not like, you know, the problem with um, Akiwa Ranger, other than the fact that it sucked, <coughs> it was that it was so entrenched. Okay, this is a little unfair. It was, it was really entrenched in like hardcore sentai old school stuff so like it it, it it did explain a lot of the jokes because um like most of the characters wouldn't get the jokes in game or like in in the show so it would explain the jokes but like a lot of the jokes and humor and references came from like really old school hardcore like super sentai knowledge um that's a little too loud now I just want to get this music at a, at a good place. Um, but After 5 doesn't really rely on anything other than, like, the most baseline of, like, Sentai knowledge, or, like, Tokusatsu knowledge. There's superheroes, they fight the bad guys. That's pretty much all you really need to know about. I mean, you could literally be a, a lifelong Power Rangers fan, and you would still get it. It's not so much, the joke isn't so much building off of old school sentai tropes as it is building off of like character dynamics and like the general vibe of like a team of superheroes but they're all kind of assholes but not like in like the the boys kind of way of they're all assholes but just like they're all just kind of jerks like normal people kind of jerks they're just like your dickish co-workers that you don't really like but you hang out with or whatever because it's better than doing your job it's like that. I don't know if I'm doing a good job selling this show. I keep a ranger as an acquired taste. It definitely is an acquired taste. Could you imagine going to a restaurant and you heard Third Strike music? I'd freak out. Mm. I don't think they're good. I'm not role-playing eating, I'm actually eating. Remember in Ultraman when Tachibana sent her kids to Canada to Japan to the monsters and the monsters attack Canada anyway? One of the things I would think about of a Keeper Ranger is the Omura Gale scene. Everybody knows. I think that's the most iconic type shit in um in uh a Keeper Ranger. I think everybody's familiar with that scene because that is one of the more iconic uh, filming locations. If you go to a restaurant and you hear Third Strike music, you know how to do an electric Godwin fist. That's true. Do you know what the only good thing, speaking of like, I don't, whatever we were talking about before, somebody said something, what did they say something about the Justice League that I kind of didn't, didn't get to read? Like how I imagine the Justice League after they saved the world for the seventh time, they just go to a bar and get fucked up. Do you remember that scene in the, in the first Avengers when they're all just sitting there and the, the like the shawarma plays? That's like the only good scene in that, that's not true, that movie's like okay. But that's like a funny ass scene and I really like that scene. I think a lot of people also like that scene of just like them chilling the fuck out after like saving the world from whatever. Just like sitting in a restaurant like eating shit. That's funny. That kind of stuff is always good of just like the 
the normality uh, stuff, like normality and uh, weirdness kind of thing. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, needs more of that that in that part. Of I know I've actually never seen Age of Ultron. <clears throat> I think it's actually the only Avengers movie I haven't actually seen because I did watch um, I did watch Endgame and um, Infinity War. Um, not I don't really know why I did that. Oh, I do know what you're talking about. The like the scene at the beginning. Oh, I I've never actually seen the full scene or like the movie, but I do know what you're talking about. Winter Soldier was also good. Yeah, that scene was a last minute addition because I think everybody knows this bit of, I think everybody knows this, but like, if you watch that scene, you'll see that um, um, Chris Evans, this Captain America, is like obscuring his face with his hand um, because he was already growing a beard for his next non-Captain America role that he was already filming and they couldn't have him shave it. And so they just uh, like basically had him cover his fucking face. Um, Ultron was bad, zero staying power. That's what I heard. I When it came out, I remember that everybody on Tumblr really didn't like it. And I was like, oh, not gonna see that. And then I never did. And then shortly thereafter, I stopped caring about Avengers, pretty much. I think in retrospect, Ultron was the first big miss to a lot of people. You know, if you think back to that 2012 era of the uh, Marvel fandom, uh, especially on Tumblr, you know, when it was the, the biggest thing in the world, you know, everybody had seen it at least twice. Um, um, I think when Age of Ultron came out, I don't even know what year that was, 2014, 2015, I, who fucking knows. Um, I don't think anybody on Tumblr was happy with it. And I saw a lot of people being basically like, this isn't good, this isn't as good as the first one, it doesn't live up to the first one, and I was like, I'm not gonna fucking see this though. But I think that was the first big miss for everybody. Had a MC phase and stopped not long before Infinity War came out. Hmm. I saw Civil War actually, I don't know why, I, I don't think I really watched it I didn't really watch it on purpose. My roommate watched it and I happened to be in the room and just sort of ended up watching it in, in college, but I didn't really give a shit. Oh, that's right. That did happen in Age of Ultron. Okay, yeah. Thor, Thor 2 was out at that point and nobody liked that one. But I don't think anybody was considering that to be like a major, like a major dip or whatever. Like... I mean, everybody definitely thought that movie was nothing, um, but, um, um, like, Age of Ultron being the second Avengers movie after the first Avengers movie set the world on fire in 2012, um, I think it was a big, I think everybody's like, alright, this, this is a miss, this is a, this is a, not a dub, Civil War was fine, thought the catalyst for the motivation was bad. The problem with Civil War... Why are we talking about Marvel? Not that I mind. How do we get into this? The problem with Marvel... Oh, I remember. The problem with uh, Civil War is that the movie was based on a bad comic book. <laughs> like, nobody liked Civil War, the comic line. It was very divisive and led into some extremely... Um, uh, divisive uh, things like... Uh, one Last Day or whatever, that Spider-Man story. I can't remember the exact title of it. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> Bucky kept jumping Iron Man was kind of funny though. I am not gonna pretend it wasn't funny just watching him get his ass thrown around like that. <laughs> 
they worked him. They worked him for real. They gave him the fucking combos. Hi, Jupiter. Wow, why did that go into my face? Do you guys see that? It like flew at me. The fuck? One day more. Yep, that's that's the one. Civil War led directly to that. Anyway, if you went to a bar and heard Third Strike shit, you'd think it was like a Yakuza thing going on. Yeah. Okay, but it doesn't like, it like flew, you saw it, right? It like... I can't do it again, I can't make it happen again. I don't even really know what I wanted to talk about. I had like a few things I wanted to talk about. Not like seriously or anything. But I, I called this meeting. I called you here so you guys could talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. This is just like a free chat. Um, I haven't done one of those. I was saying, I was saying like earlier, like I haven't done a free chat in a long time. And it's really like low effort for me, kind of. And I wanted an excuse to just do one. And like, and then like, I had those internet problems earlier, and then I was like, ah, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, and like, that'll be problematic because it's because it's uh, July Fourth, and it might be too loud outside. And then my internet cleared up, and I was like, fuck it, we'll just try it. Um, and here we are now. Um, I, I really like. I really just, I had to get this fucking, I just had to get this fucking stream like out of my system so it wouldn't be bothering me anymore. Um, it's, it's like, do you, do you guys know how you say like, you'd be like, I just have to draw this art, I just need to get this out of my system. Sometimes that's how it is for me with streams, like I just need to like, make, do this fucking stream so it's just like, gone, like it's out of my system. If, if, if it wasn't, if I couldn't have done this I would have just started watching turn A. But I'll just do it tomorrow. They retconned one day more into being about Mephisto erasing the marriage because he's scared she shows the spider girl. And if he gets uh, the spider girl, would be born and kill him. That's weird. Okay, what were you saying? Can you complain about your neck pain? Oh, please, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. How was GDQ for me overall? I really liked it. I had a good time. Um, I, I watched pretty much everything I wanted to see, um, which is always nice. It always sort of turns out that I'm never employed during a GDQ, which is kind of worrying for my career prospects, I guess. But in the moment, it feels nice that I get to watch GDQ pretty much all day, every day. That ending was crazy. That shit was whack. Dude, I've never seen shit like that before at a GDQ. That was crazy. That was insane for real. Like, not even the run itself. The run was, like, fine. Like, the run was good. But that, like, last, like, 15 minutes... Fucking insane. I've never seen that kind of shit in my life. Oh, can you guys hear that? The infinite run was great. The infinite one run was really good. I really liked seeing the tech. Great to see 343 turn up. It was nice to see 343 turn up. I'm glad that they, they still do stuff like that, even with all the backlash they have to deal with. It was also really cool seeing the uh, Celeste team uh, donate so much for the runs. I really like seeing that kind of stuff. It's always, it always feels good when developers will do that at GDQ. Um, it really legitimizes, I mean, it doesn't need to be legitimized. Like, I don't know, it feels good, you know what I mean? Like, it feels good that they acknowledge the speedrunning community and that they, that they're willing to like, put up. Uh, I miss nights too. They, you know, there were a couple, there were a couple like really early morning runs I didn't get to see. They put Doom Eternal really, Oh, she made one of those? I didn't even, I didn't even catch that. They put a lot of interesting runs really early on. Like, there was a Metal Gear Solid 2 run that was at, like, fucking 6 in the morning. There was a Doom Eternal run at, like, 4 a.m. Uh, the the Knights run. Uh, I, I guess I can understand why they would put Knights back there. Down, down there in the, in the gutters of the early morning. Okay. 
I don't want to woke up from leave your head too much. Feels like I got stabbed. That sucks, Nova. Um, make sure you're taking some painkillers uh, for that. Even if you think it's not doing anything, like if it doesn't feel better, it's still a good idea to take that kind of stuff. Um, maybe try some ice on it or something too. If you keep having pain like that, it might be worth it to get a neck pillow when you sleep to try to prevent that kind of thing from happening. At least GDQ puts up all their runs on YouTube. I, I always appreciate that. Um, that you, you can watch the backlog of runs if you have a chance. That's always nice. Did you catch the Power Slave run? I did not. I did actually miss that. I had something else going on. I'll have to catch that. Um, I'll have to catch that when the VOD goes up. I did not get that. Can I make some meat? Can I put some meat on here? You have Advil? That works too. Just any painkiller will... will probably help you out a little bit. Calm Crunch. A rice pillow. Power Slave is one of the Night Dive Remaster guys. Nice! That's cool. Advil is ibuprofen. I don't know, dude. I don't know what medicine is, like, genuinely. I just take what people tell me to take. I'm not quite sure what this green shit is. It's crunchy. I'm not quite sure what the fuck it is. Just filled rice off your bed. Oh no, my rice! Watch Sivvy's video on it afterwards. It's definitely interesting FPS. I actually haven't watched Sivvy's video on it either. I keep forgetting to keep putting it off. I wanna, I wanna check it out. It looks fun. It's got an interesting history. Cabbage, maybe? It's, I don't know, it's crunchy. Alright, let's turn this heat up. Shit needs to get cooked. I'm hungry. Maybe I should see if I could go to one of these for my birthday next month. I wonder if there's one near me. Scallion? Maybe. Ooh, there's several in Chicago. Oh, there's one in Illinois, too. How far away is that from me? I'm about to dox myself. <laughs> Wait, Illinois isn't- why would I go there? Because that's not the state that I live in, you dumb fucking ass. No space outlaw spin-off. I got a demo. I didn't hear about that. Four hours by train. Well maybe I won't do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It doesn't even take that long to get to Chicago from here on train. Fuck off. Take the 80 to the blue line to the gray. Oh, come on. You're over exaggerating. Maybe I'll do that for my birthday. I'd really like that. I guess I should probably think about what I'm going to do for stream for my birthday. Penny Soccer Season 2. How about that shit? How about that shit? What the fuck? You know what the craziest thing about. The craziest thing about Penny Stocking Season 2 is that it hasn't leaked at all. As far as I understand, nobody... <laughs> you! Hi! Cook. I'll cook you meat. Hold on. Which one do you want, boss? Which... You won't believe it till you see it? That's what I've heard other people say. Like, they're not gonna believe the, the, uh... <laughs> Alright, everybody calm down. Chill. Everybody relax. Everybody in my chat really likes you. So, everybody's gonna freak out a little bit. Oh, I'm glad you can make it. I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I, I saw you streaming earlier, but I couldn't catch it, because I had other stuff to do. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just, uh, like... 
doing chatting. I'm basically doing just chatting, but with this game, um, that is just a visual distraction. <laughs> birthday soon. Birthday. My birthday is next month. It's at the end of next month, actually. But I was talking about. I was just talking about before you um, before you rolled in. I was just talking about um, that I wanted to go to a, like a real a, a real uh, Japanese barbecue place, and I was like. It's, those are kind of like I'm you probably know they're probably they're kind of expensive um, And so it's like oh, I'll go on my birthday because I could use that as an excuse to to like spend that kind of money um, So I'm gonna start planning that for my birthday, but then I was like what should I do for my birthday on stream? I don't know and then what the hell else were we talking about penny stocking? Oh, yeah She'll feel failure on theme for you, appearance. That's 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 uh, host synergy, baby. Yeah, no, like the panty stocking thing is that, like, n as far as I understand, no footage have been has been leaked from that conference at all. Like the one time that they like don't leak any footage of this, you guys, and everybody was like, okay, and they fucking didn't do it. Like everyone's collectively agreed to uh, not let the rest of us see that shit. I think I saw one very shaky, shaky cam of like, like one second of footage and not even anything that was described in the, in the tweets that I've seen. But it did seem to be legitimate, I don't know. I mean, I, it's definitely real text description of what was shown. Yeah, that's what I've seen too. I, I, uh, I saw the text descriptions from a few different sources, and and people are like like news outlets are definitely reporting on it. But it's it's crazy that I haven't seen any any footage or like pictures or anything at all. People take that. I guess people really do respect uh, those rules more than more than you maybe you think they do, right? I don't know. What else happened at AX? Does anything happen today that I didn't hear about? The only thing that I've been focusing on. Well, up until the panty stocking thing was the Kason stuff. Oh, the Trigun remake. Right, I haven't actually seen Trigun. Is that sacrilegious? I don't know, but I've never actually seen Trigun. Is it a remake? Is it a remake? Or Ooh, there goes the fireworks. Is it a remake? I don't know, because I wouldn't know, because I don't know anything about Trigun. Uh, they announced that. I heard a a is like a fucking zoo, dude. Yeah, I've heard that fucking too. Uh, I mean, it's, it's. I guess it's the nature of these things. Trigun had a non-canon ending. The anime, you mean? Interesting. I don't know. It's good. I've heard it's good. Like I, I, I know about it, but it's like, it's one of those classic anime that I've never actually watched, like um, Ghost in the Shell or um, Cowboy Bebop. I've just, off the top of my head, I've never seen either one of those, or, or Trigun. I, uh, I want to change the music, actually. Well, I love Street Fighter, but I want to listen about Hala again. Hey, I'm trying to do a stream over here. I, can you guys hear the, um... Hi, you good? Hi, you good? How are you doing? Um... Please watch Standalone Complex. I'm gonna watch. Like, I wanna watch those things. I feel like I have good excuses to watch you to hear something. I can't, I think it, I think if I turn my, um, my audio, um, man, what's that called? The popping, yeah, oh yeah, it's fireworks. They're like right outside my house. <laughs> That's why I wasn't going to, well, I was gonna stream Valhalla today, or, um, Somnium today. Um, let me see if I can do something about. Hold on. I don't. I don't really want to mess with my audio filter on stream too much. Um, no, where's my filter at? Um. Let me bump it up a little and see if we can <clears throat> see if we can deal with that. I don't want to bump it up too high. People were doing fireworks at 11 p.m. while I was trying to sleep last night. That sucks. 
People have been doing fireworks here all week. Um, people are real crazy about it. I, I, I don't know if it's this neighborhood or this city or, oh my God. <laughs> are you kidding? Hopefully they'll stop soon. This is why I'm not streaming tomorrow because that would be way too much, I think, I fear. I know there's gonna be a block party on this street. Um, so, um, dogs are not vibing. Oof, I, I, I'm sorry about that. My uh, my dogs hate fireworks too. I, I only have cats now and I don't really seem to mind it too much. But when I was younger and I had a dog, uh, he hated that shit. He, he wouldn't really get like, he, he reacted fine to it. Like he would just kind of like go somewhere and hide. He wouldn't really, oh Jesus. Wow, that's peaking my microphone. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Woo! This is why I was gonna stream earlier today with Somnium, but then I changed my mind. It's not too distracting. That's ASMR, baby. <laughs> that's um, that's a uh, fucking firework ASMR. July Fourth ASMR. When it's just it's just like normal ASMR, like you know, like all the normal like the the whispering and like the head pats and all that shit. <laughs> and then um, every fifteen minutes is just like peaking the microphone with like concussive blasts. <laughs> oh, here comes one. What what was I talking about? It was tennis the meat sizzling. Yeah. I just put a bunch of meat on it and then nobody will be able to hear it. Speaking of hearing things, I think the music needs to be turned down a little bit. Oh boy. You rattle the restaurant to <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Cryptid Hiragi Yu is just like rattling on a metal gate, banging on the walls outside of a meat restaurant. Banned from the establishment. Pants off, lust for meat on. Let me in. This is not proper grilling techniques, by the way. You shouldn't do shit like this. <sighs> okay, Kason. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's why I called you all here uh, an hour ago, except we talked about other shit before. Did everybody see that? Hey, Pabs. Welcome back. Well, not welcome back. Welcome to my stream. I was just at your stream. Welcome back. I'm just going to keep it like that. Did everybody see Kason? Does, everybody, does anybody know about Kason but doesn't know about what's going on? Yeah, queen shit, for real. I can't believe she was there in person. That's what really, that's what really, not like threw me off, but like shocked me the most. Like somehow even more than Kason signing with Bishoujo is, is Kason being there IRL, which isn't really surprising because she's done a lot of IRL streaming before. Like, everybody knows what Kason looks like. Um, but to see her, to see the, yeah, they got the whole person. To see her there was crazy. And in, 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 in costume and everything, which is awesome. It's really cool how they cosplayed her avatar. It was so cool. Kason's the coolest. Cause Kason's the coolest ever. I like, I like, I really liked it a lot, and I get, like, why this is the case, but, like, all the rest of the Shoujo members are present, but they're, like, being wheeled around on fucking television screens. I, I don't know if anybody saw the clip, um, of Melody just being wheeled around the con hall, <laughs> uh, on a TV on wheels, uh, with a camera so she could see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I, it was like, it wasn't like, it was like her leaving the V Shoujo panel, well, I mean, her leave it, like, I don't know how to describe this, the V Shoujo members 
for the meet and greets and stuff, they've been on this complicated rig that's like all of the computer stuff you need to run all of the things, and then a monitor where the the VTuber actually is on the monitor, and then there's also a camera on top so they can see, like so they can see out, like so they can see you, and that's how they're doing meet and greets with like all the Vishojo members and stuff. Um, and and I as somebody somebody I know technology has come so far seriously, it, like it blows my mind. It's like a VTuber chariot. <laughs> it's they found a way to put VTubers in real. It's it's like it's like um oh my god, did you stop that? It's like um I forget what I was gonna say because of the goddamn fireworks. No, it's really no, it's really impressive. It's really cool to just ha like to be able to con like interact with a VTuber in real time, in real life. It it's crazy. It, I it's it's awesome. Uh, I I remember when I think it was like even like earlier this year when Hololive first started to do appearances at conventions, they were like pre-recorded or or just displayed over like the big screen or whatever. But now you can basically go and shake their goddamn robot little hand. Um, it's crazy that they can wheel Melody around a, a physical space like she's actually there. It's crazy. Um, I obviously am not in at AX, but I I I really wonder what it would be like to um, to interact with a VTuber like that in real time. It's gotta be crazy. Wish I could have been there to see the guy who got Connor with a D's nuts joke. Oh my god. What a fucking legend! What a hero! <laughs> Forgetting him with the these nuts. Also super funny. In the same point because um <laughs> because um right next to Connor was like Mousy on a big ass um like a big ass vertical screen or a yeah vertical screen um and it's so hilarious to see a real human being um. Standing, sitting at the booth or at the at the panel, and then next to him is like a six foot tall fucking computer screen with Iron Mouse on it. It's awesome. I love it. It's so cool. I love VTubers. Hi, Nightbot. Welcome back. I thought uh, I thought you were broken, man. I, like didn't go off like at all today. It's awesome. I love it. I love VTubers. I'm like yelling, I'm like shouting, sorry. Hi Nova, welcome back. Um, oh good, what kind of sandwich did you get boss? Tell me all about it. Mm. We're talking about VTubers at AX. And me yelling. Like an Attila Battle Angel interview they did with Kizuna I. It's probably something similar. I don't think I ever saw that, but uh, I can imagine what it probably was like. No, wait, I do remember that. They they used to just have her on like a TV next to the person, right? She did a couple interviews like that, didn't she? Crazy. Uh, they're actually... Man, that's really peaking the mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> Made a peanut butter and jelly. Didn't want to grab down and get the skinny cheek. PBJ is respectable. Remember when Laplace did an interview with Rob Tez with a fucking Batman? Oh my god. That was crazy. That was so weird. Like, not a bad way. That was so weird. Why? And then they had Fubuki do Morbius. What? <sighs> Yeah, it's okay. The thing about the thing is that there's a window right next to me, and um, it might sound like really loud to you guys. I'll eat that chess tournament. That was awesome. For the first or second Morbius. That was for the first Morbius. That was pre release. That was really fast after. Oh boy. That was really fast after Laplace's debut. They've really been like fast tracking Hollow X. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna, like, I'm not implying that they're giving Hollow X special treatment, because I, I don't wanna apply that, that sounds rude to imply. Um, 
But um, I, I think that like Hololive is starting to change how they handle their talent in the early days. I think maybe they realized that they left a lot of, I don't know, for lack of a better term, money on the table when it came to Myth, especially, and also Council, by like restricting their... I've gotta go, it's time for my D&D group to meet. Thank you so much for stopping by, Crow. I hope you have a nice session. Have a nice night. Um, by like you know, the normal thing that Hololive does, where they restrict activities for the first month or so of um, of a uh, new talent. For they did it for Myth with the like, you know, the classic stuff, the um, the collab bands and things of that nature. I think they realized that it's not in their best practice in terms of money and in terms of like. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Advertising? Word of mouth? I don't know. To, to like, but it's, 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 it's not in their best interest to restrict talent like that. So I think starting with Hollow X, they really just uh, let them fucking go for it. Um, and just started like putting them on weird shit like hype. Yeah, kind of like that. They started putting them on weird shit like... Uh, the, the Robert Patterson interview <laughs> and all those kinds of things because I feel like Hollow X has been at a lot of things really fast, especially Lapless. And it's just cool. I'm glad to see them. Hollow X already has 3D models. Yes, they do. I don't know if all of them do. I know that some of them do. I don't follow Hollow X very closely. Um, so I, I wouldn't know, but I know that Laplace and the bird one do. I know the bird one does because everyone was talking about her ass. Oh, and Chloe. Yeah, her too. What's her name? Louie? I, I can't remember her name. I don't follow them very, very closely. Um, I follow a very select group of uh, the JP members. Not for any particular reason, just because I have to pick favorites. Oh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to watch anything. Oof, I'm so sorry. Good God. And it's also like, it's also easier for, um... Laplace is cute. She's cute. Uh, Laplace is, nope. Uh, it is easier, for, of course, for Hollow X to get their 3D models since they do live in Japan um, and can just do that kind of stuff with uh, official resources. It's unfortunate for EN and ID that um, that's not exactly a reality for them, except that they've just... Myth has apparently just gotten tired of that shit and just Ame is doing it now, um, which is fucking awesome. Lucky the fireworks talked over Canada Day. I wish. Uh, is that it? Do you think? Probably not, huh? It's only nine o'clock, so they're probably gonna keep going for a while. It is nine o'clock. You, you. What time is it for you right now? Oh wait, no, you're in my time zone. I think, aren't you? I don't remember. For some reason, I thought you were in like a radically different time zone than me for a second. I think I was thinking of the uh, Ame's great. Ame does everything. Ame is the 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 whole tech support for all of EN. Seven PM here. Oh, you're behind me. Oh, that's right. You're behind me. I don't know who I was thinking of, but I was like, what? What are you like on a radically different time zone than me? I don't know. Renaissance detective. Seriously. What a what a legend. What an idol. Speaking of legends. We, let's pivot back to case song for a second and talk about um are fireworks expensive? I don't know, honestly. I don't um I don't buy fireworks because I don't particularly care for them. Um so I, I couldn't tell you how expensive fireworks are, but I know that probably they went to a bulk store out of town and just get those sh shit huge bundles of fireworks. It might also be multiple people. I don't know. Hello, Anti Glitch. Welcome. 
you get a set for like 20 bucks. I don't know, man. They've been shooting off a lot of fireworks for like the last half hour. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if I can see them. I want to hold on. I'm going to see if I can like actually see them out the window. I can't even see them. I can see the light. I can see the light reflecting off of cars in the street, but I can't actually see the fucking fireworks from where I'm at. That sucks. If it, if I could, it was like right outside my window, at least I could just like look at them. But I, I can't even do that. I just have to hear them. They're actually just firing rifles in the air. They keep the property value down. That's why we get this house for so cheap. They're actually firing out of those crates from Half Life to that infinite ammo. That's exactly what they're doing. We have fireworks being sold under tents with giant inflatable gorillas. That's that would probably get me to buy some fireworks. Um, you can never tell if it's fire or gunshot. A firework sounds more hollow than a gunshot. Like this isn't hardcore. Like this isn't like this isn't like all case scenario advice. But like generally speaking, a firework sounds more hollow and spread out than a gunshot. The gunshot sounds a lot sharper and like deeper than a than a firework. It sounds more like a crack than a bang, if that makes sense. Usually, you'll know when you hear a genuine gunshot um, over a firework. You know, it isn't like a pop; it's like a fucking bang. Um, like if you heard a gunshot, like you would probably know it's a gunshot. It's not always true because people have different experiences. But generally, and if you, I don't know how how it's actually coming through the capture for you guys, but to me, these sound like pop, pop, pop. They're like they're like hollow pops, so I can tell that they're fireworks and not gunshots. My connection just tank. That was weird. Um, we do gunshots like a lot. I don't. It also depends on a lot of factors, like how far away it is, and like. Um, you know, the caliber and stuff like that. I don't know a lot about guns, but I did study criminal justice, so I, I have, like, a layman's understanding of these things. But generally speaking, the sound of a gunshot is a sharper sound. Um... At least in my experience. This like the dialogue about how it's yeah it's just like it i'm actually writing the sequel this is actually the sequel right now did you guys see that jill's getting a nendo did you guys see that jill's getting an android did you guys see there's no design out for it yet but they just announced it did you see that did you guys see i saw <laughs> The Jill Nando, yes! That's like the first Nando I'm gonna buy. Like, I, I've never really liked Nando's too much. Like, I don't, I don't dislike Nando's. Def, like, I'm not saying that. I, I'm not, I've never bought a Nando. I've never really felt drawn to buying Nando's before. I will buy the Jill Nando um, when it comes out. I might also get the Iron Mouse one. I don't know if you guys saw that one too. It's really cute. I, I said I didn't want it, but then I looked at it and I was like, ooh, it's so cute. Uh, Hollow, Hollow Yet is, or Hollow Myth is also getting all their Nendos and uh, pop-up parades. Um, finally, after Just Gura, <laughs> after Just Gura getting hers for like a year. Nendos are cute, but I feel like there's, they're a little overrated. Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, a little bit. They're maybe a little overpriced in some respects. I think that like everything from Good Smile is like slightly overpriced. That's just me. Getting the Ina Figma if it kills me. Let's go! I haven't seen the designs for any of them yet, except for the Gura and Kali pop-ups. Um, which look really good. I'll probably get the Kali one. 
I don't know. I'll probably end up getting like Ame. Actually, I think an Ame Nendo would be cute. Stop. I'm See? Now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. Now I'm thinking about it. Use right. I'm falling into the rabbit hole. I don't need another like genre of things to collect. I've got 30 fucking boxes of gunflow over here. I don't need any more things. That's how they get you. The only Nendos I've ever wanted are the He-Man and Skeletor Nendos. What the fuck? That's awesome. Dude. <laughs> the fuck? Skeletor. Hold on. I gotta like, I gotta like look up what that looks like. Where's my browser? Skeletor Nendo. Holy fuck, this is awesome. <laughs> it looks so stupid, like in a good way. Oh my god. Didn't they release Nendo as well to measure Lincoln Park? Hold on, stop. I can't even, I'm not even, I can't even verify that. I, I can't, I, I don't know what I would do if I saw those. I, I don't know, I could, like, I could cope with that. That's funny. They should do that for MCR. The only Nendo I've ever felt need is the Mini Nendo Shion. Oh, those are cute. I, I saw pre-power Mini Nendos at a con a long, long time ago. And it wasn't, it wasn't Shion. I think it was, I think it was like Dorothy and, um, and, um, Mirai. I think it was Dorothy and Mirai. I didn't see Shion. Lincoln Park Nendos are real? Fuck, yes. I don't want to see it, but that's awesome. I don't, I don't have anything against it. I just feel like I couldn't deal with it. Crunch. Can I crunch? Crunch. It's making me cry. <laughs> alright, 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 fine. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Make it park and droid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit. This is awesome. Wow. This is, this is awesome. The Lincoln Park Gundam? Hold on. Uh, what the f- You're fucking with me? Are you fucking lying to me? Is that an RX-78? What is that? What Gundam is this? Oh, GP01. I haven't seen Stardust Memories yet. There's the fucking Lincoln Park Gunpla, everybody. Have you guys seen the have you seen my new favorite gunpla that I just found out about today? What did I just delete? Get this off my screen. Hold on, you guys are gonna love this one. That's too small. Blasting numb while beating Shark's ass. <laughs> oh, I, I saw the 7-Eleven dump love. I saw those earlier today. You guys seen this? You, you guys seen this bad boy? I, I, I'm genuinely dead ass serious, this is real. I looked at prices for it today, and it's like 300 bucks. No, it's dead ass real. On, like, on God, this is real. It's all, it's all fucking translucent parts. It's a fucking master grade one 100 scale. This is a master grade. Like, it's not even a fucking high grade. It's a master grade. It's like $300. The, the swag is unbearable. I'm yelling again, sorry. It's been a minute, I forgot how to control my voice. I'm like yelling to compensate for the... for the... cheapest Supreme item. <laughs> Tell Star I said fuck off. I keep it 100. Fucking, this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I, I can't stop looking at it. I want it. 
Like, this is- I'm gonna do a subathon for this. You know what the funniest part about this thing actually is the um the box. Oh, this site has it for 140 bucks. I don't have 140 bucks right now. Okay, get this off my screen. What is not locked down that is causing me an issue right now? Da -da 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 -da. Hi Trans Melody! The, okay, the funniest thing about this is the box that has Amaro on it. That's not it. <laughs> yeah, he needs the jacket. We we need the we need to can somebody can somebody Photoshop his face over the Supreme Drip? Like that Goku shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pabs, thank you. Oh boy. Hey, what are we doing here? Why are we looking at this? What are we doing here? Let's grill some meat. Oh my god. Oh, anyway, Nova, to answer your question from like an hour ago, I, I am going to start watching Turn A um, probably tomorrow or later tonight after stream. Um, I'm almost done with Zeta, but um, I really want to, I'm really curious about Turn A. And um, I want to watch it, tired of not having watched it. I, I like, I've been wanting to watch Turn A for a while, and then I saw Turn A in that uh, Kason video. And I was like, yeah, this is the, this is the sign. This is the sign to start watching Turn A. And also there was a Zugoku Commander in there. Oh, so many. Seriously, so many. You guys have seen the Hello Kitty ones, right? The Char McDonald's one that's running right now. I want to, um... I have a plan at some point to do um, a stream with my fiancé where we buy the, um... The uh, Hello Kitty RX-78 and the Hello Kitty um, um, Zaku Commander and do a, like a joint build on stream for those because uh, she really loves Hello Kitty and I like Gundam. And that would be fun and they're also like really simple like below inch what do they call it? What is like below inch grade? Zero grade? When it's like so simple, like literally a child could do it, like a child child could do it. What do they call that? Is that zero grade? Beginner grade? It's not even on the grade scale. Like what's the shit that like, that like, uh, no grade? Maybe. What's the grade for like, bear guy? Hold on, I have a bear guy. Hey buddy, what's your grade? Do you even have one? Huh. Uh, this petite guy says that it's a high grade. But that might just be because it's compatible with the high grade line. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like intergrades. It's like basically intergrade level. The, the parts are really big and the runners are really easy. Um, actually, the runners in the Hello Kitty Gundam are shaped like Hello Kitty's head and her bow tie. Her little bow. Um, it's like It's got like two runners. It's got like a red one. Red... It's got a red runner and a white runner. And the red one is shaped like her bow. Or her bow on her head, it's a bow. It's her little hair bow. And the a white one is shaped like her head. Once Gundam Age was called advanced grade, despite being like for babies. Interesting. I don't know anything about that. So eventually we'll do that as a stream. I'm actually gonna do a Gunpla next Sunday in a week, but on Monday, um, I'll have you guys vote 
on uh, which gunpla you want me to build because I've got a backlog over here. So I'm going to let you guys vote on what goes first. I have a feeling that the vote will probably be either the Goof or the new Gundam. But uh, at a sense of fairness, it will also include um, the Jim Sniper and the Dom. Although I might... Oh, Pabs, you already, you, already, you already hooked me up? Ooh, Pabs, you're too nice to me. Pabs, you treat me, you treat me too nicey. Oh my god, this is so good! Holy shit, this is awesome! <laughs> this is so good! Oh my god, this is so awesome! This is the best image I've ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> Stop with them fireworks, please. Images that go hard, seriously. There's a, a lot of people think it's the worst Gundam, but I thought it was pretty okay. You tell the director never worked on anime before, and that's where all the problems stem. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily discount Gundam Age just because. The image uh, because because the directors never worked on anime. Because if I did that, I would have to discredit a lot of directors in Toku that have never worked on Toku before. Oh my god! Hold on a sec. I'm gonna mute. For Hi. Um, uh, I was trying to wait out the fireworks. I'm also gonna kill the game because it um, it's a little unoptimized, to be honest. And it was running my CPU at, let's look at it in Fahrenheit, 195 degrees. So a little too intensive on the system uh, to be doing that for too long. So we'll, uh, we'll just leave the restaurant and go back home. It's, it's unoptimized trash. It's like a $2 trash game on, on Steam. It's like nothing. I mean, it's not trash. It's a good game. It's fun. It served its purpose for sure. Um, but it does run my CPU really hot for some reason. Yeah, I can actually grill... Excuse me one second while I, kill the, while I turn the fans on really high. I can actually grill real meat on my fucking keyboard. Um... Did I finish Wing? Uh, no, I haven't finished Wing yet, actually. I, um, I'm, like, halfway through it, and I, uh, against my fucking better interests, I, I stopped watching Wing to go back to Zeta, um, for reasons I still really quite don't understand why I did that, um, but I'll get back to it. I should watch Double O. Where is that? What, is that a different timeline or something? I don't know anything about Double O. By any fucking means necessary. Oh wait, I gotta put Amaro back up. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Maybe I can change my outfit now too, since we're back at home. Oh, that's not quite it. it. Takes place in a real future year. I actually don't have my Supreme jacket on my model list anymore, or I would do that to match with Amaro, but I forgot to I forgot to um, port it over to the new model. his own continuity and has fucking aliens. Okay. Look, I'm loving my search history right now. It's like Supreme Gundam, Linkin Park Gundam.
Crossbone Gundam goes. Isn't Crossbone Gundam in the double O timeline? Oh, it is you see. Okay. Oh, is it's victory, right? What what is crossbone around the victory part of the timeline? Am I making that up? I just keep looking at him. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> By any means necessary. F91 related? Okay. I'm not watching either one of those, to be honest with you, but... I might read Crossbones at some point. Can you guys still hear that? Like, is it... Is it... Has the... Like, I turned the... The audio dampener up more, but I don't know if it's actually helping. Is it F91 spinoff? Okay. I th for some reason, I thought it was a victory thing. I don't know why I thought that. Watch the movie and it's not bad. There's better ways to spend two hours. You know, if it's just a movie, I might watch it at some point. I'm willing to sit through like a bad movie or like whatever. Like, it's like, I'm not gonna watch like 50 episodes of a bad show, but like I can sit through a bad movie or whatever. If it's like, if it's like, well, if you just sit through the F91 movie, you'll have better context for Crossbone or like turn A or like whatever. I, I can do that. Like, I can I can suffer that two hours. Show they got cut down to an OVA, they got cut down to a two hour. Oh, it is a show. Well, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, I guess. Oi, oi, oi. F91 is like Zekros, meant to be a show, ended up being a movie. Ah, 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 I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Like that Gunpla has, Gundam has so many compilation movies, it really helps, it's very helpful um, for people who just want to know sort of the, the, the ins and outs of the franchise without having to watch 6,000 hours of Universal Century bullshit. But it makes the shows that don't have movies like really glaringly stand out, like Double Zeta, or uh, whatever else. Because like you could watch all of the Universal Century stuff in movie form, except for Double Zeta. Like you could watch, you could watch the Gundam movies, the Zeta Gundam movies, and, and then you can't watch the Double Zeta movies because they don't fucking exist. And then Shark's Counterattack is a movie. You could do what I did and watch uh, the first two Zeta movies and then just watch the rest of uh, the show. <laughs> Except that it's contradictory. I mean, the, the last movie is contradictory also, but like, did you know that in the second Zeta movie, Four dies um, before the Kilimanjaro stuff? They just kill her in the middle of the, like the middle of the show. And then they just skip that stuff in the third movie. Did you know that? Japanese love Seed. I don't know anything about Seed other than that it's very contentious. It's fucked up. It is fucked up. Cause it's like, I was watching it and I was like, did she, uh, did she die? Uh, how the Zeta comps? Watch first 40 minutes is possible to follow and the pacing is fucked. The Zeta comps are fine in my opinion. 
but I do want to specify or like clarify that statement because I've already seen all the episodes that the Zeta movies cover. I basically watch the movies as a refresh. Um, so the pacing to me didn't seem like a problem because I was already familiar with the events. But I can, I've heard other people say it too that it, the pacing would is not good um, if you haven't already, if you're not already familiar with Zeta. I liked the Zeta. I, ha I had a more enjoyable time watching the comp movies of Zeta than I did watching the 30 episodes of Zeta that it took me to get there. Um, but that's because it cut down on a lot of the really melodramatic stuff that I didn't like. Um, mostly by deleting a good 90% of Camille as a presence in Zeta Gundam. Um, like genuinely, like the movies cut down almost everything about Camille. All the stuff that doesn't really matter. All his, all his like incessant arguments with people about stuff. It did just cut all that shit out. Fuck that kid. Um, which definitely makes for a more enjoyable viewing experience, in my opinion. Um, but um, maybe not the most. I don't like. I feel like I want to be kind to Zeta in some way. That like, if you feel like you want to watch Zeta, give the actual show a chance, because maybe you'll like Camille more than I do, or you can put up with him, or like, whatever, before you just give up and go to the comp movies. Um, you know, give the show a fair chance. It's probably popular for a reason. I don't know why. Um, my problem with Zeta is that it doesn't do anything that I want it to do, and all of the times that it brings up something interesting, especially about Char and Amuro, it doesn't ever follow through because that follow throughs in Char's counterattack, I guess. Um, but I thought the movies were okay, as okay as Zeta could be, honestly. Do you ever plan to play Super Robot Wars game? I do. I want to play one at some point. I don't know which one to play necessarily. My problem is that I don't know a lot of Super Robot. War, I don't know a lot of Super Robot, like, even in Gundam, I'm still pretty newbie about it. Um, so I feel like if I picked up Super Robot War game, I'd just be like, I don't know who any motherfuckers are in this. Is Double Zeta needed for Shars Counterattack? I don't, I've been told no. I've been told that Zeta Gundam, is a Double Zeta, is not really particularly relevant to Shars counterattack, and that you can skip double Zeta. You can go Gundam, Zeta Gundam, Shars counterattack. That's what I plan to do because I'm sure it's hell not watching Zeta Gundam. Um, um, but I don't know firsthand because I haven't finished Zeta yet and I haven't watched Shars counterattack. I need to finish watching Shar. I need to finish watching Zeta and watch Shars counterattack before I have to build a new Gundam. The, the entry grade new Gundam. Have I met Haman? I've met her. She's, uh. There. I don't know. She's not my favorite. It's funny how, um. Shar said that he'd never betrayed anybody to her. To be fair, a lot of the time that I spent with her was in the movie, so I've only really just gotten to know her in the show. Did the UC Essentials watch original Zeta Counterattack? I'd say just watch the original series and leave it at that. She's double Zeta's big bad. Oh. Wow, I'm gonna fuck. He was saying he never retreated her specifically. Oh, that's less funny. That's way less funny. Wait, but doesn't the... Isn't the dub say that too? That is... I don't know. I'll have to check later. 
I said watch the original series and leave it at that. That's what, like, I, at this point, I'm too committed to wanting to watch Char's Counterattack. I've, like, I've become, like, weirdly obsessed with it. But, like, I just, I need to see this movie. I need to know what's cool about it. Or, like, whatever. And even if it disappoints me, I have to, uh... I have to see it through. And then I can, I can just have peace in my fucking life. Yeah, it's my white whale, except it's Char. Well, I, you know, I am invested in Char's character. I, I like Char, and I like Amuro. Ah, oh, fuck that! I gotta watch the origin. I won't actually have a problem with that. I, I heard it. I heard the origin's really good. I don't really like the art style too much, to be honest with you. It's not a problem, really. I I'll watch the origin sometime. I'm not too worried about that. I like Char. Um. I don't actually. So the thing about Char's counterattack is, I actually don't know what happens in that movie. I don't know at all. I have no idea. I mean, I know that Char, like, leads Neo Geon or whatever. Like, I know Char's the bad guy, and that there's that Amuro fights him. I don't know any spoilers from that movie. I, I have no idea what happens. Like, I don't know who lives or who dies or what happens or, or anybody's reasons for doing anything. So I'm really invested in seeing how Char gets from where he was in Gundam to where he is in Zeta Gundam to where he ends up in Char's counterattack. I want, I, I really want to know where Char ends. Like, I want to know what happens. I want to know what makes Char such an iconic character. I wouldn't say it's good, but it's good. All right. I really want to know what makes Char, like, a timeless character, you know. Um, I don't know that a lot of that timelessness comes from his appearance in Gundam, but um, I want to know the whole story, you know. And I want to know the whole story with Amaro too, because I liked him. I wish he was in Zeta more. I wish Zeta Gundam was about Amaro and not Camille. Um. <laughs> But then after I watch that, I'll be pretty much like for a while, like I'll just be satisfied with where I am in Universal Century, because I oh I have to finish Thunderbolt. That shit's fucked up, man. I don't. You guys have probably seen Thunderbolt. That shit's fucked up. I didn't know it was gonna be fucked up like that. I only watched like two episodes. That shit's fucked up, man. That shit's crazy. It's really stylish though. That's the jazz one. Yeah, that's the jazz one. That's the one where all the mobile suits got redesigns, and I think they're all kind of ugly. Just generally speaking, I don't really like Thunderbolt's designs. I don't hate them, but I think they're too busy. Like, I, did, I get what they were going for in Thunderbolt. Like I, 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 like, I understand the philosophy, and I don't disagree with it. But, um, like, in theory, I don't disagree with the design. And it's nice. Like, given the op like, given the choice between rigid conformity to designs that were penned in 19-fucking-78 and being able to, like, take your own spin on it, I appreciate that every everybody feels their opportunity to take a spin on it. That fucking fireworks drive me crazy. Um, but, um, I don't like them. They're like they're they're they got the big sundowner shields and they're all bulky and like it loses the charm of those designs in my opinion. Um, Cause I really like the the charm of the Universal Century designs and I think they lose that charm in uh, Thunderbolt. It's unfortunate, but I was I was I was enjoying the story uh, and the presentation of it. Uh, I watched Double O Eighty and I really like that and I watched. Um, MS team, and I really, really like that, actually. I'm pissed that I can't find a fucking high-grade ground Gundam. A Gundam ground type, and I had to buy the battle log repaint just to get one. Double O eighty did the impossible by making uh, fucking Zaku's look cool. I gotta watch the Stardust Memory. I haven't seen Stardust Memory.
Double O eighty was fucked up. Not as fucked up as not like as shocking, not as graphically shocking as Thunderbolt is, but it was fucked up. I'm not being mean to Zakas, I'm just saying they're not cool. They just they're just little guys to me. They're just funny guys to me. They're just little dudes to me. Turn up a fucking hammer. 80, 80 is more fucked up. It's more subtle fucked up. 80, 80, 0080 is... 0080, I think maybe your mileage with 0080 in terms of how it presents its message will vary depending on your familiarity with the Gundam franchise. If you watch 0080 as somebody who had never seen Gundam before, which is totally possible considering like the demographic it was marketed to, it, it might take a while for you to start hitting that like, oh, this is bad. Like, this is not good. Like, the like war is not cool. Like, kind of shit. But if you already watched Gundam, you know that like Gundam is inherently anti-war material. But like it takes you on that roller coaster. Like it's it's honestly one of the most effective like emotional roller coasters I've been on in a long time where it it takes you on that up and down because like you know you're you're with the kid the whole time. Just waiting for these fireworks to stop. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. Hold on one sec. Oh, I think they're done. Okay. You're with the kid the whole time, right? And you're like, you're going up and down because like, you know, the kid's hanging out with his Gion pilots and you're like, oh, Gion is the bad guys. These are, these are the bad guys. But then you... You're like, Gion is the bad guys, but these people seem like just okay guys, you know? And then they all die and you feel bad for them. And you especially feel bad for the guy who didn't get killed. And then, you know, there's the nuke and everything. And you're on that up and down. And in the, you're like, you're up on that high when he's rebuilding the Zaku. And he's like, I'm going to save the, I'm going to save this colony. I'm going to destroy the Gundam. And, and, and they're not going to nuke it. I'm going to save you all. And you're riding that high. You're so high. You're like up at the top. And then they hit you with that scene on, on the, when they, when they, when they go to pick up the kid's dad or his mom or whatever at the, at like this train station. And, and he overhears that the, the Gion fleet that had the nuke uh, was sunk and there's no danger. And it just pff, fucking plummet. Like in real time, you can feel your fucking like heart hit your fucking stomach. Oh my God, it was crazy. Sorry, I just spoiled everything about 0080 for anybody who hasn't seen it. Um, you should really watch it. It's, it's incredible. Um, like literally, I literally felt my heart drop like in that moment. Like I actually like, was unwillingly, like, emotionally devastated uh, by that drop because I didn't know it was coming. It was crazy. Um, really good. Really good uh, OVA. What is it, like, six episodes long? It's really good. You can knock it out in an afternoon. It, it's really, really, really good. You should watch 0080. You should watch M MS Team, too. I think it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's like, kind of lighter than uh, 0080. But I think it's really fun. It's really good. And it has a, like it also has that good like anti-war message just just like through the veil of like a love story, which is interesting. What are we talking about? I don't know. All right. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? I said that this is a this is a, a free chat for everybody. If anybody if anybody wants to talk or like or like throw a topic out or like whatever, now is the time. Can Biscuit a kissy? I don't know where Biscuit is. I think he's all the way downstairs sleeping. Watch Double Eighty on Christmas. Oof, that's rough. I should do that, man. I should make you guys watch. Um, I should make you guys watch Double Eighty this Christmas. Um. On fucking uh, for this for the when we do the when we do the Christmas stream this this year, I'll make you guys watch the My Little Pony movie, and then we'll watch fucking 0080. 
Is there a comp movie of that? Or do I just have to make you guys watch all six episodes? Maybe we can just, maybe we can just do like a... Uh, Go into Gundam Wing Endless Waltz. Is that a Christmas thing too? I haven't seen Endless Waltz yet because I haven't finished Gundam Wing. Marco! Endless Waltz is a Christmas thing. I'll give Marco a kissy if he comes in here. Door's closed though. If he, if he meows at the door, I'll go get him. I wish I just had a. I wish I had my camera set up so I could just turn it on and come bring Marco in here. I wonder if I could do that. Hold on. Maybe I could just do that. You guys stay there, I'll be right back. Please. I had to run downstairs to get him. Look, look. You're so old. Do you even know where you are? So old. He's like 20. He's still like 21 years old or some shit. What do you want to do? You want to go? You want to leave?
Marco, are you just fucking confused now? He's like completely deaf. He like literally can't hear shit. Marco. Let me see if I can find another cabin. I'll be right back. Why am I, why am I like... Stay there. Left. Did he immediately fucking leave? What an asshole. Ugh. So smelly. That was easy. That was fun and easy. I couldn't find the other cats. I found Moo, but she ran away because she knew what I wanted. I dropped the phone. I dropped my phone. Yeah, it's on the phone. I'm okay. Well. You guys, anything else you guys want to talk about? We might call it here. Just a little little two-hour hangout sesh. A little bit of Marco in there for all, for all you loyal fans of Marco, not of me. Unless anyone else was to... Oh, do you know what I want to talk about, Rishia? I want to talk about Rishia real quick. Just want to acknowledge it. Like, we don't have to discuss it in detail, but I do want to acknowledge, of course, the fucking Rishia thing in V Shoujo. It's also the Street Fighter movie. Excellent movie. I actually have it on the list. Oh my good god. Yes, sir. I love the Street Fighter movie. I have it on the list of uh, movies to stream on, like, movie night. It's on my movie night list um, for, the, for the server. We'll watch it sometime. Holy fuck, dude. God. I'm like trying to mute it out. It's like, it's not even the 4th. I can't express that enough that it's July 3rd. Like, it's July 3rd. I don't know what these fucking people are doing. Um, we have no limits on what they can say. Oh yeah, in case I was gonna say some nasty shit. I mean, I don't know if you, did you did you guys watch her stream with Melody? Cause they said some wacky shit on that. Um, case I was gonna say whatever the fuck she wants. I'm kind of interested in what um uh, the other one. I don't remember what her new name is. I don't want to call her Rushia anymore, but I don't remember her name. I'm, I'm interested in what she's going to say, like, how she's going to act. I mean, I'm not expecting her to, like, drop drop bombs or whatever, but, like... I wonder if her personality will be, like, less how it used to be, or... I don't know. Kason just sounds like that. That's, that's, that's all natural, baby. That's just what that motherfucker sounds like. That's what dragons sound like, bro. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, this is only ramping up, so I think I'm gonna get you guys out of here before my house burns down. Um, I'm sure that listening to that, those fireworks is not the most pleasant audio experience maybe you've ever had. Um, it's starting to give me a headache. So I'm gonna send you guys over to, oh, hi, Jackie. Sorry, you, you might have just missed the end, or you, you just come in the end, uh, the popcorn in the microwave. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really think that people would, um, 
be so so crazy about fireworks today but um oh well i hope you guys still had a good time um i i appreciate you guys coming out so late it's not really that late but um i appreciate you guys hanging out with me um i had a really good time this is what i needed to do like to get this out of my system um just just chat just hang out um linky paps they pop in here too i can feel it oh yeah um yeah this was nice um the schedule for next week will be up tomorrow um so stay around for that or stay tuned for that you know pretty much what to expect from me um i'm gonna send you guys over to my favorite dog in the whole world butch corgi who is not sure actually what is going on Anyway, Corgi is wrong art. We're gonna, I'm gonna send you guys over to Corgi, and um, I'll see y'all there. Bye, everybody. As soon as the raid goes through, wow, a lot of people. I don't get to look at the viewer count until the end of the stream. Oh, oh cool. All right, bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye, bye.